And now, the Big D and Bubba Weekly Podcast. Big D and Bubba, they have a show five days a week, but they don't get to say everything that's on their mind, so they have an extra one, and that's how we get, get the, the podcast, podcast, the, the podcast, podcast, the podcast. Big D and Bubba podcast, the podcast, the podcast. Big D and Bubba podcast. The podcast, 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 podcast. Good hello, good hello. Hi, I almost said good morning, but mentioned jerk wad. Yeah, boy, heard that before. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah. Do you think there's a cod past? I don't think there is. Oh, is there? a cod past? Yeah, like a podcast. I love your cod, cod past. Cod past. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's not bad. That's that thing that happened right after that uh, that cod came through. Yeah, the cod past. The cod past. Yeah, yeah. cod past. Yes. Yeah. You guys think of cod? Do you think of a fish, or do you think of the, the thing that guys wear? Fish. Like a cod piece? No, yeah, fish. I think uh, of like fish. a Wendy's fish sandwich. Oh, I think of the cod piece. I don't know what they call that in like, uh, you know, like medieval times. You ever guys ever go to like a, a, a Renaissance fair? Yeah. yeah. You I've see been, the guys that have like I've that. I've been to a medieval times. And they have like this, uh, that metal piece that goes over the their junk or whatever. Yeah, their cup. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a metal cup. Yeah. It's a cod piece. I'm looking to but see. I've never heard someone call it a co- cod. Oh wow! No, this I've is just only ever heard it as cod piece. Yeah. I don't so want to. I don't want to see Bubba's browser history right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba's over there. What, did, did, you, did you know a cod piece? Did you know a cod piece is a triangular piece that is attached to the front of men's hose. No, uh, got a girl uh, on the floor covering the fly. It may be held in place by ties or buttons. It was an important fashion item of European clothing during the 15th and 16th centuries. In the 16th century, it became a firm upwards pointing projection <laughs> based on a stiff material as boiled leather, steel, or plate armor. So they would actually have the, uh, the, the cod piece would be a projection. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. You know, that's a lot to take in today. Sure was. Right. Sure was. Uh, okay. Uh, anyone uh, got any big plans for the weekend besides watching uh, Tiger Woods win this whole thing? Oh, you're still in on Tiger's uh, going to win the Masters? Uh, I, p- I put some money on If he wins, um, what happens? I T- mean, Tiger's, he not, ties. Tiger's not winning. I'm if he I'm did, sorry. though, he would tie uh, uh, Jack Nicholas for six wins. Oh, they're just showing Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, Fitzmagic. On the uh, on one of the Masters things, and I swore that it was Zach Brown for a second there because he had the Zach Brown hat on and everything. Hey, does, Great beard. Does Zach Brown have a uh, brother that's in the band? He kind of looks like him in uh, 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 what's a song he does? Uh, Into the Mystic. He yeah. does this mash like a mashup version of it, and his brothers or somebody's in there. Playing guitar, I believe. Uh, so I'm looking at Zach Brown, Coy Bowles, uh, Clay Cook, Daniel De Los Reyes, Matt Gana, Fryer, Hopkins, Jones, yeah. Usuri, Lawson, Petruska, and Williams. There's no other Brown. That's in how many there. people are in the band? Oh, yeah. Holy yeah, it's massive. Wow. Which is why they're awesome on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of people to pay, though. Yeah. All these groups, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's the bad thing. Like, you know, you see, like, everybody talks about Darius Rucker, how he's, it's so great he's taking Hootie back out on the road again. Uh, Matter of fact, he'll be on the show with us very soon. Uh, But, yeah, Darius loses money on those tours. Like, personally, he he makes less money than he would if he stayed just going out as Darius Rucker. Yep. Wouldn't it be cool? But if like, but, but yeah. he had to have that. Yeah, I mean they yeah. they they are. There would be Hootie no, and the Blowfish. Yeah, that was that was before. There would be no Darius if right. there wasn't a Hootie. So. No, so he does. He doesn't mind. He's just saying. Yeah, they make more money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he'll make up for it in book sales. Oh, that's true. He's got a book. Yeah, I got a new book out. He's got a book. Coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a huge. What's the last book you guys read? Uh, I read the one of the guy that was just on the show recently. Um, oh, the military guy. Yeah, the yeah the the, the unit. Yeah, the, the unit. unit. I read the unit was just the last one I read. That was actually a really interesting book, and it it kind of made me see things from a different perspective. I was I was very very glad that I finished the book. I'm like ah, that's interesting. Yeah. If you listen to a book. Is it, does it count the same as if oh, you were boy. to actually read it? 100%. Oh, boy. 100%. Oh, boy. 100%. Oh, boy. 100%. Oh, boy. 
definitely Garrett. counts. Garrett, you opened up something just now that is is something so near and dear to my heart because you're still ingesting the mm. material. You know, though, I'm going to tell you, as somebody who has now voiced audiobooks, I didn't read them. I didn't. I just talked to them. You I have no work, idea. You were working. No, That's why. Point is, you, you weren't. In, I spoke them. I didn't read them. You weren't invested mm. in the book as though somebody who was reading it with their ears. <laughs> Look, it's the same argument <sighs> for Braille. Is somebody, if they're reading it with their fingers, are they still reading the book? The answer is yes. So if the, whatever appendage you're reading with, if you're reading with your toes, <laughs> it's still it's still <laughs> hey, reading. Hey, 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 you're reading with your cod piece. Who knows? I mean, oh, but boy. I'm blind and have no hands. <laughs> That's how I went blind. <laughs> I feel like though, if you're blind, you still have to be literate because you would be putting together oh, those letters by whoa. your fingers. You are not doing that with your ears. Mm -hmm. Maybe you more. Are. You're maybe more literate. You're, you're actually you're assembling all that with your ears, and you're allowing yourself no, you're to not. become No, you're not. You're not assembling letters. In the, in, no, but you are assembling words. No, you're just words. ingesting. No, you're ingesting words. Bite. You're not assembling them. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Fight. Who was it? Uh, John Round Grisham? Three. John Grisham told me it's absolutely still reading. Brad Thor told me it was reading. Yeah, because they all make money. <laughs> Cool. I had a homeless guy tell me he was Jesus. So, um, <laughs> if you read lyrics to, to a Burger song, King too? Uh -huh. if you yeah. read lyrics to a song, did you listen to the song? No. Uh -uh. Well, well, well. That's different. How? That is false equivalency. <laughs> it's false flag. Oh, oh man. That and got here me. comes a young gun. I know. Just man. open Garrett. the door, swinging in. <laughs> Garrett, that was very uncool. <laughs> I thought you were kind of on my side in the oh, beginning. Oh, you broke bro code. I'm just anti-reading. What's the last book you read? Oh, it's been fifth grade, probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> Magic Treehouse. <Whoa. laughs> Where the wild things are. James and the Giant Peach. Uh, like the Jerk Lodge. <laughs> I would think that uh, Schaefer is a bigger reader. No, I don't. I don't read books very often. Really, in terms of cover to cover, no. With your eyes, ears, hands, feet, nothing? more of an audiobook guy than I am sitting down reading a book. And um, do you count that as reading the book, or do you say I listened to it? Depends upon the conversation. If I want to have that argument or not. <laughs> yeah, usually not. <laughs> Sounds to me <laughs> the answer is no. Sounds to me like you're saying they're different things. No, I'm not. I'm not. What I'm saying is no, I, I ask because no, be, I don't call it reading a book if I listen to an audiobook. I just, I just don't. It, to I, me, it's I don't just need, different. It, it is, and you just, why, why, how hard is it to just go listen yeah. instead of read and listen? Yeah, I listen. Just say it. It's, yeah. it's a weird hill to plant your flag on. Yeah, it, it's, it's the same. It be, I go back to the because, braille argument, especially if I'm driving, you know, going on long trips or anything. Podcasts kind of replace books for me, just because that period of time where you would have read a book previously in your life just podcasts with being like an hour and a half long or two yeah. hours or the audio books that's replaced where actually reading a book that part yeah. of time is. and see that's the interesting thing too is like when i had a longer commute i would read more books like i would go through it but i don't even touch it now i have a 10 minute commute i just leave the radio on and i'm good no like i used to read books on a commute because i was on a train you listen to books on a commute. No, it's still the same. I will go back to it again, and no, I will plant my No, you are wrong about flag. the Braille argument. I hope you're not Braille reading is books letters. while you're driving. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it no they are. You have to be able to read to read Braille. You do not have to be able to read to listen to an audiobook. Oh, I, think, I, think we're good here. I don't even. I don't even want to argue this with you. No, because you can't. No, I can. I totally can. When but authors, when authors, the people who wrote the words, who put the letters together, so they that my ears can write. hear them, um, those authors all say that it's still reading and it still counts. Mm -hmm. That's their opinion. But but then we're <laughs> quibbling about the definition of what reading is. Mm -hmm. It's still comprehension. Okay. Can I'm we all going... disagree that our taxes are just too high? <laughs> Dude, throw that tea uh... in the harbor. <laughs> hey, Gary, do you know what that means? Throwing tea in a harbor? Yeah, do you know what that reference is? Like the, the Boston Tea Party? Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, is was, why. It was like school. Unit 2 in <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the last book. That was the last book you read. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why we actually uh, drink coffee here in America. Because coffee was the replacement 
for tea. tea. And it was our little rebellious spirit here in America that said, we're not drinking your tea yeah. anymore. And you know what else? We're drinking coffee. It's better than tea. It is better than tea. It's also I, kind of a... I don't know. I like a good British breakfast tea. Like an English breakfast tea is really, really good. But then the sweet tea became such an American thing. Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, that... We made again, it better. Yeah, we took their tea and made it better. <laughs> made it better, but it also like made us fatter. Kind of lame. Like the whole Boston Tea Party, like, well, we're, 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 we're going to you're, you're, throw your tea over. Ha, right. Now your tea's wet. It's like, <laughs> it's just kind of, it's not that strong. Yeah, but it was, Is it? I mean, that was the interruption. But it was also in the 1700s, yeah, so it was a I long mean, time ago. That was also tea they couldn't sell and get, ta- like, that I don't was even a straight know interruption in the supply chain. Yeah. So that's actually a we, huge thing. We always thing. get in trouble when we talk history on this show, because that's when people start commenting and calling us I would say, uh, my understanding of the Boston Tea Party is that people are in Boston and there's some tea in boxes on a ship. And they were like, we don't like the British rule. Look at that tea. Let's throw it over and ruin it. And they did. And then they went, ha ha. They can't tax us if they can't sell it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hadn't got that far. I was just thought they were being ornery. No, they were like, <laughs> they, they can't tax us without uh, without something to tax us for. So they got rid of the, the product. Oh, Okay. They were standing in the way of consumerism. It's kind of like the person who sits yeah. up in a tree, so you can't bulldoze it, so you can't put up a new office building yeah, on that land. The biggest phrase to come out of it was no taxation without representation. That's That was really the okay. biggest thing to come out of the Boston Tea Party. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. I didn't have a super great it's the same Schooling. way. Like, you know, you guys don't like it when I drink coffee with uh, chicory in it, but that was another response to. Who says they don't like that? I don't even know yeah. what chicory well, no, is. What? Well, I've. Uh, you I've guys don't like or- it when I. We no, don't, I've. No one cares what you're talking about. <laughs> I have ordered it and people complained. Maybe it was him on the other side. There, I forgot who it was, so I quit ordering coffee. Is that with what chicory. you ordered yesterday? No. Okay. No, I got some weird variety pack of wonky coffee. Who knows what's about to come? Uh, like different, uh, like weird flavors. I don't know what I ordered. I, it was what like, made, what, what made you think of their wonky? Uh, you know, because it looks like the stuff Evan brings. <laughs> it's that same brand Infusio or whatever. It uh, sounds like a uh, Harry Potter sp- yeah, that's, uh, spell. So, Infusio. Okay, I'm on Southern Living right now. What is chicory coffee, and why is it so popular in New Orleans? Right. Basically, what's a root? Yeah. yeah, And they but use what, it to fill... Go ahead. I didn't even know what that was. So during the Civil War, they had to ration coffee. And uh, so what they did is they cut it with the root to give it, huh. you know, right. some flavor instead of it just being like thinner coffee, like less coffee-ish coffee. Count my mom uh, put oatmeal in the uh, meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah, it's go, a filler. Or ground beef. It makes it go further. Like the breadcrumbs, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah listen, I, I would go to guys' uh, houses, and they, her mom, their mom would make hamburgers and it didn't have any oatmeal in it and i was like what i don't know why this? they call this stuff hamburger helper that's just fine by itself <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> but anyway like so so it was one of those things that people got used to it during the civil war they drank their coffee with chicory and they got used to that flavor and then when they gave them real coffee back they went <laughs> i just literally never heard of it until right now it's really good mm-hmm. i I, had, I hadn't never had it until i moved to baton rouge Maybe. and uh it's really good Really good. I enjoyed it. It's so nice to have whenever you haven't had it in a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what I got. I got some uh, Viennese roast, French roast. I didn't know there was a Viennese roast. No, we already had some French roast, so that's okay. Kenya Alcohol uh, Anonymous, AA. What is that on coffee? Wait, why? Uh, Ethiopian Virga Chefe. Costa Rican Terrazzo. Are are you talking English anymore? These are the flavors I got. Colombian Supremo. Uh, breakfast roast, hazelnut. Did uh, you order illicit drugs? Uh, no, I don't know what I ordered. Butter pecan, uh, and yes, it is pecan, not pecan. Ayahuasca. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's Aaron Rodgers when you need him? I man, I would do the ayahuasca thing. I I heard Oof. like no, I heard like you know you end up puking yeah. and pooping yeah, yeah, and doing yeah. all the stuff. Oh. But but people like there's a guy I watched this thing on YouTube. He lived an entire life on his spirit journey. 
and had an entire he went he remembers his childhood his family his children uh his whole entire he had jobs he had a whole different life and then like he woke up from his ayahuasca thing and he was like i've lived an entire extra life i mean i've had those experiences if i had too much whiskey (laughs) it's pretty wild stuff though man and they say it changes your Ooh. entire perspective, whatever your little universe. spirit journey is and whatever. Nah, man, I'm good. What's his face? A uh, comedian was, he, he did it. Um, Rogan did it. I know that. He no, talked uh, I know Aaron Rodgers did it because that was part of the his name. Uh, they call me Tater Salad. What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Um, Ron White. Yeah, Ron White. He Ron did White, it. Yeah. yeah, he did it. There's he a was... lot of people that do it. They'll go on the ayahuasca quest things yeah. and they'll go, I, I know somebody. There was somebody on one of the dating apps about a year ago. Uh, they were like, she, she was telling me that she went to Mexico and had an ayahuasca thing and like came back and completely quit her job and was starting a whole new career. Nah, I'm way Ugh. too control freaky for that. Yeah. No, I'm also, good. when you're talking, like you're making yourself sick. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Could you do the dark room thing that Aaron Rodgers did before he chose the Jets where he locked himself in a room for like eight mm. days? Or yeah, something? that was that like hubble. Wait, he, he did what? In. He, he locked himself in a dark room. I, I don't know how many days it was. It was a couple days, but... Like solitary confinement? Yeah, it helped, it helped him uh, internalize his decision-making when, when it came to who he was going to play for next. God, he's got way too knew. much money. Yeah, yeah. Just like, that's, yeah, dude. Like, who, who's paying you more? Go there. Yeah, whoever your agent told you to go with. Like, I feel like they know more than you. Go ahead. He went on a dark mystery treat. Uh, I did the uh, Float tank floating thing. tank. Mm. I want to do that. That's so pretty bad. cool. There's a bunch of them around town. There's like, you ever done the uh, f- cryogenic cry- freeze thing? No, I know people that have. I've never done. Wait, that. what is that? Uh, it's you go. It's for like uh, athletes to do like uh, recovery. Yeah, and it's liquid nitrogen, and it comes out in this little ca- capsule that you're standing in in your boxers or whatever. And it's like super cold. Mm-hmm. Oh, I couldn't do that. Then. No, no, yeah, yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, it, I would, it would die. kill you. It would kill, Bubba's allergic to cold. Not, not, not even joking. Medically yeah. diagnosed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say this: I, I used to goof on him about that, and then when I saw him this winter, and would see when he would get cold and see like hives. I was Man, like, this dude, weekend he was wow. holding. Uh, I was holding a cold. beer. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I was holding a beer like this, or no, it was a was water. It? Or some what was it? Well, let me tell the story. Uh, <laughs> I started to, and then he jumps in, and then doesn't even have his own story right. Uh, you were drinking a thing from CC's, a, a iced a mocha, a mocha sippy. Sippy. and uh, he was holding it in the car because the couple because he bought he bought two, uh, and <laughs> one and, uh, is none. One, two, two, Meanwhile, <laughs> Carson couldn't get a diet coke. Fun. Fun. Anyway, his hands like he goes. Uh, I go, dude, put it here because his hand like where he's holding it was starting to get. That was yeah. swelling yeah. up. I've seen him do that. It's, yeah. nuts. it's really dumb. It's the dumbest thing ever. So can you go into like, when you're at the grocery store, can you reach your hand into like a cooler to grab? Yeah, I'm fine with all that. Okay. It's prolonged. It's long-term exposure. Yeah. So in other words, if I'm holding a beer, a can of beer or whatever, you know, you I, I hold it with these three fingers, like these two fingers, index finger, that middle finger, and my thumb. That's where I basically hold my beer with. And they will get completely red and swollen and... Just terrible. Like, Man, you should start wearing gloves. What? Yeah. Well, okay, here's a good example. Here's Black a good example. Gloves. The cold water when he was cleaning himself after getting egged. Oh, yeah. He was starting. Yeah, I was starting to have a reaction. Oh, then. you did? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, wet and cold is way worse than dry cold. So what about like uh, getting into like a lake or that water? You probably... In the summer, I'm okay. In the okay. summer, I'm fine. And Otherwise, again, you wouldn't get in there anyway. Yeah, and also, I mean, I, I need to keep an EpiPen now, which is the weirdest thing ever. You know, you just, but I used to love, and you know this, I used to do this for years, it, way before people did it because it was cool. I would take a, a shower, and then at the last 30 seconds or so, I would just turn all the hot off and just freeze myself because it was a great way to wake up. I always felt like I was alive and whatever. And now people do it because it's trendy and it's supposed to be good for you. However, now I can't do that ever since the tick bite gave me this cold urticaria yeah. uh, that I, I can't do it. And I can't enjoy that little moment of, ah, you know, freak out. Do they say how long it's going to – do they think it will last It was forever? supposed – okay, so everything that uh, I've read says it's anywhere from two to three years is how long you have it and you're dealing with it. It's not getting any better. 
and it's been almost four years now. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, is there like a Facebook group for cold Uticaria people? No, no, not that I know of. Well, Kelly can't have a mammal. Uh, it can't eat any mammals because yeah. of the tick bite. She has a alpha gal, so she can't do um, uh, beef. She can only she can have uh, chicken and fish. Um, she can't have any mammals. She can't do milk, uh, cheese, butter, beef, pork, all that. That see, and I always think about that as uh, first of all, yes, there are uh, cold urticaria. Um, uh, groups. But what I was going to say is, man, if this is the worst, if I get bit by a tick and I don't get Lyme disease and I don't get alpha gal because you know I love eating meat and having yeah. milk Can you and have cheese. Poultry? Can she have poultry? Yeah. Okay. Poultry isn't like red meat, though. But that's what I was asking. Because yeah, no, I, can... I was like, this is a stupid question, but I'm like, but wait, birds lay eggs? You know, are a lot they of... mammals? Are they... like, I really yeah, yeah, am yeah. having You know that. what's yeah. funny is a lot of people will be like, uh, they'll say, uh, she go, I can't have uh, beef or dairy, and they'll go. Can you, can you have eggs? She's like, yeah, I can have eggs, but because they people because they keep dairy and eggs in the same right. place in the grocery store. Uh, yeah. yeah. So people kind of like. At Lumped first, I was kind of like, you're stupid, but I'm like, well, you know, I get it. You're, yeah. you just, yeah. It's in the but dairy yeah. section. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, you can. She can have eggs. She could have. Um, she could have alligator. Yeah, well, she eats a lot of the weird stuff. Yeah, alligator is a good, a good non-red um, meat. Uh, could she have? Because this will be an. I was going to say, could Ostrich. she have emu? Because mm. emu is a red meat, but it's also yeah, it's rare. That's a good one. Yep, yep, she has it. Uh, so she can tur- eat that. Yep. So ah, oh, that's good. Yeah. So we have frozen uh, emu, ostrich. I love emu. We have duck bacon. She so can have duck bacon. Wow, they make that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a. There's a whole. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, business of people who supply food for people who have like really weird hmm. dietary issues like that. And the alpha gal is growing, especially in the southeast, because it's such a ticks are a, a, more of a problem. Uh, it has exploded. It used to be like no one even knew what you're talking about. You go to a restaurant and be like, "Hey, sugar, I've got alpha gal," and they're like, "I'm sorry." Now they're like, "Oh, yeah," because they start. You're starting to see a lot more of it. Hmm. Should I be worried about the ticks here? Yeah, like- you should. Yeah, I have a, a tick. I have a flea and tick spray service. They come out. I don't know, a couple every two weeks or so, maybe, and they spray the entire property. And see, I when I got sick, it was when I got sick when I got bit and was affected. It was during the lockdowns, and I was in the woods every day, and I would pull two or three, maybe four ticks Ooh. off of me yeah. each week. Yeah. During all that time, I was doing a lot of the. I'm surprised the you didn't get it. Social fish dancing. <clears throat> fish. T- I was. <laughs> I was out there doing that. Man. Was that a thing? Was it called? Did we call no, it? No, that's what I called it. Was that's social fish dancing? Because that's I would do the little thing on Instagram because they had the little, you know, little uh, stickers that you could put on your Instagram posts for whatever it is. Like you want to, you're talking football or whatever. You can put your team on. Uh-huh. Uh, and I would do social distancing, and then I'd write the word fish over the top. Yeah. Uh, but that was a fun time, wasn't it? <laughs> God. Two weeks. Just need two weeks. Just, uh, you know, stop the... Flatten the curve. Flatten the curve. Flatten the curve. Gonna give some uh, help to the hospitals and stuff, so just two weeks. Okay, cool. We can do two weeks. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> I remember someone going, wait, they're canceling the entire NBA season? Yep. <laughs> They canceled everything. Uh, that was crazy. They times. ended up bubbling it. Yes. The bubble was a great idea. The bubble? The bubble was, yeah. you know, at least they were allowing them to keep playing. Do you remember that? Yeah, right? Yeah. NBA's play. Oh, they just, right, right. Yeah. And, but oh, then, right. It was all in Disney, right? Yeah. And then weren't people like violating the bubble? Of course oh, they yeah. were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You kidding me? I have a t shirt from WrestleMania that year that says I wasn't there. Yeah. Because yeah. you couldn't go, so yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, "Didn't they do wrestling though?" No, there's like the, nobody in the audience. They that did was the Thunderdome, exactly. Yeah. No, so. that's funny. Oh, I hated, uh, I hated the uh, what you call it? It's the little TVs. It was weird. The little TVs. Instead of having fans, they would have the TVs oh, yeah. in the little spots. Yes, but it seems like it would be a great idea. But the problem was, is they weren't actual live 
reactions of things. It was just loops of people cheering. Yeah, it was just super creepy. Uh, it was so and, um, yeah, just wonky. Yeah, the, they're like, yeah. What was, <laughs> what was equally as weird as the uh, cardboard cutouts that were in I thought the, the stands. Yeah, I thought the Opry did a really good job of theirs uh, with the lights. Uh, I thought they did a really yeah. cla- – it looked yeah, – they made it, it like – much less creepy than doing. It was, yeah, the, more artsy, and it was kind of like, hey, this is like they should do that occasionally. More intimate and distinctive. Yeah, Jason yeah. Kelsey has talked about how like it screwed up their game in football because it was quiet. So he's like, oh, did somebody did something go wrong? And it's just like, oh, we're so used to the fans and having yeah. like even the refs yelling over it that it was they just it, it, it screwed up their whole mindset. Mm-hmm. I was doing high school basketball when they – so it would be spring of 2021 when, you know, you would have limited capacity and things like that. It was the weirdest thing to be calling a game and then, like, somebody would be at the free throw line and the gym was completely silent and I'm the only one talking. And I just hear myself. It was just so bizarre. <laughs> that is weird. So weird. Yeah. Because your natural instinct in that moment is to get quiet. quiet. Still seeing the walk this way down the aisles. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, my gosh. I remember some lady one time I was at the grocery store, and she goes, you're going the wrong way. And How I do went, they know where I'm going? I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. I did something like that, and I just kept walking. Yeah, at that point, you were kind of like, I'm going to just let her rip. <laughs> you're going the wrong like, way. Look at the arrows. I'm getting my Cheerios. You're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I bet you live. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about COVID killing you. Worry about me killing you. Hey, like they really did push people to the limits. And I often wonder how much of that was, you know, to see what our limits were. I'll still see some of the little dots that they put on the floor, like stand here. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, it's like seeing a cave painting. <laughs> <laughs> see, I didn't have any problem social distancing because I didn't, I didn't want to be around people. Anyway, so just, no, I wish they problem. would keep up that yeah, line etiquette I mean, because when I'm yeah. at the grocery store and I step like one little scooch forward, get off my neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, step back, sir. <laughs> get out of here. You're not trying to read the cover of People that intently. Because that's the thing. Jerk watch. Because even now, I'm still, I'm not actively observing the six foot rule, but it's just like if I can stay away from people and I mean, because I was less sick during that period of time. Yeah. You know, so I didn't get COVID until like two years later. So. I still think Bubba's a, uh, op, what do you call it? Op, uh, patient, patient zero. zero. Patient zero. Mm-hmm. I he was, had it early. I early. was way early. Way, way, way early. And remember, like, I swore. You gave <laughs> like, it to all of us two like, years later. Uh, I was like, oh, I, got, I had it, I had it, I had it. And then uh, finally I was able to go and get the, the antibodies test. And I was so happy to see that I actually had it yeah. when I thought I had it. Yeah. Because, man, I was. You it, felt bad. I didn't feel great for about a month. And, you know, there was n- nothing you could do about it. I would walk up the stairs, and I was so short of breath that, you know, I just, I would sit down. Mm. And I'm like, man, I got to take a, a little thing. And, you know, I wouldn't do it every single time, but often I would just get winded from doing the stairs. Sounds like I got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, how was, by the way, since Garrett and I were not there, how was Baton Rouge last weekend? It was good, man. Uh, it was, it was really Other than good. Carson having to f- be in a death tube. Yeah. Oh, airplane, Carson yeah. does not like airplanes. She did no. great, though, man. D, D talked me through it. Bless she, him. She did really good. So. No, we had a great time. Uh, it was, uh, whew, it was wild. Warm. It was. It, it got hot. Great. Day first I, day was that hot. That first day was hot. I loved it. But uh, I did was, too. I liked feeling the heat. But yeah, it was. I could understand why people were dropping. Well, to me, yeah. Bubba, you were also amongst your people. I, I mean, was. I was. There. But you know what? It was very mild. It wasn't very humid. It, uh, I kept saying. Yeah. T- I kept saying this feels like Palmdale in mm. October for yep. the air show in in uh, L.A. County. Yeah. I'm like, this just feels so good out here. Yeah, very arid. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, very unusual, but it was nice. Uh, I, I felt kind of oof. that first day. I was like, mm. we went out there and you know shook babies and hands and stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, how much actual music did you listen to, or how many? Acts all of did it. You all of it. I mean, all yeah, of it. Okay. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know how much you know yeah. running around you guys were having to do. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you you, by it. default, you're listening to every yeah. sure. Yeah, that yeah, was good. It was a great lineup. I hope they keep doing that every year. Yeah, it was a a lot big. Like it's a big show. Hey, did you get the escort with John Rich back? Oh yeah. 
Carson yeah. loved having that the police was escort. Dope. <laughs> that was so cool. I was like, I mean, this is like there's there's people with money, and then there's like wealth, and that's what I imagine the difference is, is that like streets stop for you. <laughs> so so for the wow. audience had to get the guys from a broadcast that they were at away from the venue and then get them to the venue, but they knew the traffic was going to be tough. So the solution was John Rich was going to be at the event and have to go to the venue so the guys could go with him with a police escort to the venue. Yeah, and the governor's police uh, yeah. uh, escort. Guys. Oh, I didn't. It was a governor's security guy. Oh, too. I didn't. Yeah, it's it like three, to, three or four different <laughs> agencies. <laughs> wow. Top and, level, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. <laughs> it was super cool. <laughs> And you know they're all just as redneck and awesome as you would hope they would be. Oh yeah, they're just good. Good. All guys. right, all right. Uh, um, um, how many you have behind you? How many are coming through? Is it that that red car back there? Do you know that red car? Are you sure you know that red? Are we looking at the same red car? Yeah. Okay, you're good, right? Okay. Well, um, uh, all right. We can't let. No, we don't have enough spot. Uh, all yeah, right, all right, come through. Yeah, hold on. Wait, no, go. And it was, oh, my God, it was just everything. It was everything. That, that Carson was, was loving. Like, they would go and pull the cop cars into the into the intersections and stop all oh, traffic sure. so oh, we could yeah. go through. Like, Magic. Like, we were in the motorcade for, you know, going to the White House. But you know what the funniest thing, Schaefer, is? Traffic wasn't bad at all. At we all. didn't need we didn't need it at all yeah. because everybody was either going early or late to yeah. the show. Yeah. 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 John the, didn't need it. We yeah. didn't no, need it. Sure John didn't, didn't even play until like two and a half hours later. <laughs> It's I true. thought he was gonna. Yeah, I thought he was. He like, was gonna like pop right he on kept stage. Hang, he kept hanging around. I'm like, you, you got to get on stage. <laughs> no, yeah. he went on like oh. eight o'clock. Oh. I mean, oh, I great. understand why all the prep was there in case that did happen, but yeah, so yeah. there wasn't even any. Yeah, no. the traffic earlier was bad and the traffic later was bad, but we were right in that uh, they, smooth oh. sailing window. Well, they scared me so much uh, ahead of time, like, oh, traffic's really bad, it's going to be back to blah, 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 blah. I, I even was reached out to a guy who's uh, a helicopter pilot, buddy of mine. I was like, hey, man, can we put a, a helicopter down out on this property? He was like, uh, I, I can't. He, can't, he couldn't. So I was like, eh, okay. I thought that would be kind of cool anyway. Hop out of a helicopter. I mean, Helicoptering in. We've done it be before. Awesome. Yeah. Dude, you the guys best. really thought after getting me in a metal death tube, so yeah. I was going to do that. I would walk. The I D see. and I flew into, <laughs> we got to fly, it was uh, the Utah National Guard in their Blackhawks. We got to fly into an event one time. They took us out on their little practice range where they were doing all the, you know, the, the super low level flying and all. As pilots, they knew we were pilots, so they wanted to prove how good they were. <laughs> Scared the Such living crap thing. out of it. I've never been more fearful of my life in an aircraft than that day. And I know you probably felt the same way. The doors are open. Uh, we're like strapped in going, we are all about to die. Well, see, I knew you guys had landed because I had your itinerary. And then I'm looking through my phone and just news items are popping up. And I hear about a Southwest flight <laughs> that had to make an emergency landing. And I'm like, oh, Oh, I hope Carson doesn't see this. Oh, no, she, she saw it. Of course she I saw, saw it. She had kidding? every Google alert. If <laughs> something had the word South or West, she <laughs> read about it. Anyway, I was going Plain. to finish. That's We're, it. That's I all apologize it. for interrupting you. We get, to, we get to the event, and the uh, the uh, National Guard, Air National Guard, is like, okay, we're going to put down right here. And so they, they were playing a soccer game next to the uh, arena where the concert was. And they start – Hovering, and all of a sudden, you know, you see people start to clear out, and they pause the soccer game, and we land this Blackhawk down right in the middle of the field. Now, the prop wash is so powerful oh, yeah. that the goals pick up mm -hmm. and start tumbling down the down the thing. So, like, now you have these uh, things. But my favorite the was the little old lady. There's the a little best. old lady sitting in her little, you know, the little patio lawn chairs yeah. that we all bring to our yeah, kids' yeah. games. She's sitting in that, and all of a sudden, she goes, shh, boop. <laughs> it just oh, pops no. over. Oh, she yeah. fell over like a little turtle. Ah. And you can see her little legs kick in. Uh, <laughs> it was the best. It was so awesome. Wish we would have awesome. had TikTok back then. Oh. Screaming America. <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty much right after. I mean, they had just gotten back from either Iraq or Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. Like early on, <laughs> like in 2004, 2005. Yeah. And it was like. The, the, the parameters coolest. get a little smaller when the guys are that are coming straight off the yeah. field. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there was yeah. still sand and dirt and everything from, you know, Kandahar in there. That's how uh, Morgan Wallen wrote that song, Sand in the Boots. 
All right, I got to watch the Masters. Anything else? Oh guys? boy, that kid, Church Rod. Uh, no, I think we've pretty much covered everything. It's nice so. to be back. It's good mm-hmm. that uh, Carson made it back, mm-hmm. and you, uh, I think that trip got you though because of all the people and, oh, and all that. Oh my gosh, I've been so sick. So Every time I fly just through, ready a, to go home and be horizontal again. Don't mingle in Gen Pop. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. just don't be around general population. Looks like Gen Pop. <laughs> Anything else? The Masters. I'm going to watch the Masters. Anything else, guys? Mm, I think we're good. Thank you. Jerk watch. All right, we'll see you. This y'all. was the podcast, the podcast and now this it's was over. the podcast, but now it's over. But that's okay, because you can listen to the regular show on the radio every day. Thank you. Jerk watch. This was the podcast.